The NCWS Civil Engineering PE exam has traditionally been a breadth and depth type of exam. And I'll explain what that means, but the most important thing is this changes starting in April of 2024. So I'll talk about what the exam currently looks like and then how it's going to change in April 2024. So currently, if you take the Civil Engineering PE exam, you choose between five disciplines. Those disciplines are transportation, water resources and environmental, geotechnical, structural, and construction. Regardless of which of those five disciplines you choose, every civil engineer examinee is going to take the same eight questions, same eight topics in the breadth portion. So the first 40 problems of the 80 problems on the exam are breadth problems. Every civil engineering examinee is going to take these. And then the depth portion, and that's shown in green here, this is what you would specialize in depending on which discipline you chose. So for instance, if you chose transportation, you've got the same 40 breadth problems, and then you have 40 depth problems that are specific to transportation. So that's what we see in the green here. And they're associated with nine design standards. So there's nine different reference manuals that are included for working that exam. You can see another one, structural. If you're taking the structural one, you're going to take the same 40 breadth problems. But then you're going to have your specialization here in the depth portion. You're going to see 40 problems, and those are covered in 10 design standards. Digging in a little more detail here for the breadth information that you're going to see if you take an exam before April 2024. These are those 40 breadth problem topics. What I'm trying to show here is depending on the discipline you're really working in, these are how they relate to the specifications that NCWS has, project planning, means and methods, and so on. They do relate back to those disciplines. But like I said, this is changing April 2024. We're now going to depth only. So when you sign up to take the civil engineering PE exam, you're gonna have to choose one of those five disciplines, just like you would do in the past. But now you're gonna see very much more depth specific information. It's really focused on the professional practice. So there's much more emphasis now on using those design standards, those reference handbooks, reference manuals that you'll have in a professional career. And of course, what we would expect within each discipline, and this is along the diagonal that we'll see here, you're going to see questions from your topic on the exam. So if you're taking transportation, you're going to expect you're going to see transportation problems. But you're not going to see all subjects, all disciplines within each exam. So let me walk through what we're seeing in this table. The way to read this is read it from the rows. So if you're taking the transportation discipline within civil engineering, we're going to expect, yes, you're going to see transportation problems on that exam, but we're also going to see additional content in geotechnical, water resources and environmental, and construction. Moving on to geotechnical, of course, we've got the geotechnical, but the additional content is going to come from construction. For water resources and environmental, we're going to see topics in geotechnical and construction. For construction, we're going to see additional problems in geotechnical, water resources and environmental, and structural. Structural is the one that is focused primarily on its own discipline and not as much as how it relates to the other disciplines. And throughout this, there may be one or two problems that show up in these other areas, or you may be able to relate them to the other ones, but this is kind of our attempt to show where those main connection points are between the disciplines. And this is what you're going to see starting in April 2024.